Welcome to Electron Line. Now in this example we're doing the same problem but with a different curve. So again we have the line integral y squared dx plus x dy but in this case the curve is going to be c2 which is a parabola defined by x equals 4 minus y squared. We're again starting from the same point and ending at the same point as we did in the previous example. But since we're taking a different path and it's a parabola instead of a straight line, we do expect to get a very different answer. So how do we do that this time? Well, it turns out since we have a relationship between x and y right here, we could potentially replace this x by 4 minus y squared and this dx by what dx is equal to and then we can express everything in terms of y and I think that probably would be the way to go so let's try that so let's say that since x equals to this we can then write that dx dy is equal to that would be the derivative of that with respect to y is 0 that would be minus 2y and so therefore dx can be written as minus 2y dy so we, now we can replace the x by minus 2y dy and we can replace x by 4 minus y squared doing that the integral will lo now look as follows so this is equal to the integral of y squared times dx and the x is a minus 2y dy plus an x x is going to be 4 minus y squared times dy and notice the entire integral not only depends on y and we realize that y is going to change from minus 3 to positive 2 so therefore our limits of integration are going to be from minus 3 to positive 2. So cleaning that up a little bit we can write this as two separate integrals this is equal to minus 2 times the integral of y cubed dy from minus 3 to positive 2 and then here plus the integral of 4 minus y squared times dy from minus 3 to 2. So now integrating this we get the following we get minus 2 times y to the fourth over 4 evaluated from minus 3 to 2 and then here we have uh, plus 4y plus 4y evaluated from minus 3 to 2 and then we have a minus y squared evaluated from minus 3 to 2 well minus <laughs> let's make that minus cube over 3 that's better all right so now let's go ahead and plug in the limits and see what we get so this is equal to the 2 and the 4 can simplify plug in the upper limit we get <clears throat> minus let's see minus 16 divided by 2 minus 16 divided by 2 uh, plug in the upper limit here we get plus 8 plug in the upper limit here we get minus 8 over 3 minus now let's plug in all the lower limits so here we have minus 3 cubed that would be 81 times a minus that would be minus 81 divided by 2 minus 81 divided by 2 the next one we have negative 3 plugged into y that would be minus 12 so minus 12 and plug in a negative 3 here that's a minus 27 times a minus is a plus 27 divided by 3 which is a plus 9 okay simplifying that the, so we have a 8 here minus 8 plus 8 so these two cancel out we have a minus 8 thirds and here so we have let's put it right there so we have a minus 8 thirds we have a plus 81 over 2 that would be plus 40.5 we have a minus 12 plus 9 that would be minus 3 Ooh, but then we have a minus here that makes a plus 3 so here we have minus 8 thirds plus 3 which is 9 thirds so 9 thirds minus 8 thirds is plus 1 third so this is equal to 40.5 plus a third which is equal to 40 plus a half plus 1 third and a half plus a third let's see here that would be equal to 40 plus 3 over 6 plus 
2 over 6, which is equal to 40 plus 5 over 6. And so this would be the answer for this particular integral. A little bit of arithmetic there, but we managed to get through it. So again, we start with the integral right here. We have y's and x's in there, dx and dy. We have the curve over which we're going to integrate it, x equals 4 minus y squared. And then we realize we can make everything look in terms of y's with the limits from minus 3 to minus uh, to positive 2. So the x can be replaced by 4 minus y squared. The dx can be replaced by minus 2y dy. And then ultimately, this is then the result of that. And that's how it's done.